Let's give it up for let's OK Hair. Let's give it up for OK Hair. Yeah, let's do it. if I did that. Well, I've been doing it since I was young, so no. Ah, that's it. That's how you do it. I'm always so fascinated how you guys can do so many different things with your hair and how it's so, so different from, from my hair. <laughs> Mom, this is getting good. I would want to see them play like this. Yeah, but it's missing something. I didn't know why she was asking you all the questions. When did your hair look like that day? Do you remember the day I did the kinky twist? That's the day I did the Bantu Knots all over. Okay, yeah. Well, no wonder why she was asking you all those questions. You went up in there looking like an African queen showing out. Mm. That's the thing, they all always show out, and I don't be tripping. Exactly, Mo, but you're rare. So people are going to want to ask questions, especially if they're unfamiliar with it. It seems like something else is going on, though. Frank, tell me, what's the real problem? Pull me up. I'm feeling a little bit tense for it to be self-care Saturday. 
What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? I don't think I have a complete answer. Try mode. You know how passionate I am about hair, especially black hair. It's a unique thing that sets us apart from everyone. And no, I don't mean that in a negative way. I just get sick and tired of people wanting to touch it and ask about it without my consent. I know Bethany didn't mean any harm. She was just curious. Well, I was raised to ask questions if I was curious about something. So what would you rather them do? It happens too often, eh? I should not have to talk about my hair before a theater performance or ordering at Chick-fil-A or standing in line at the grocery store or before class. We've all been socialized into having basic small talk. What happened to, they say it's going to rain, or how about those cults? And let's not talk about things like Trump or war in Ukraine or religion, but there's so much to relate to. Who are you kidding? You can't stand small talk. You are literally the epitome of people telling you about their childhood trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. We're treating hair like it's small talk. Black hair is not small talk. Google professional hairstylists. Who do you see pop up the most? All I'm saying is it's inappropriate to ask about something that has hundreds of years of trauma without asking the person if they want to talk about it. I have a list of facts, hold the fun, that applies to U.S. history most Americans don't even know about. Really? Like what? Okay, so there's this video on TikTok from 2016 showing a man refurbishing a chair that was about 200 years old, and it was made from hand-picked cotton and black hair. Whoa, literally the legacy of slavery. I mean, you always say, do you want to fight or do you want a solution? So if people want to talk about it, how can they address it? How do we all get to the place to acknowledge that it's just here? I think you just gave me an idea on how to finish the play. This has always been about the system, not just about race. My father used to say, conversation leads to information. Rest of soul. And Conscious Lee says, education is elevation. So maybe we need to start asking them questions in return. Have you been watching my hair since I entered the room? Do you feel compelled to ask me about it? Do you have a deep desire to touch it? You may be eligible for it. Exactly, wait, I got one. Do you know why you are telling me about another black person you know? Side effects may include depression, cultural isolation, separation anxiety, a swollen eye, a knot on the forehead, and awkward silence. Please seek a consent specialist. <laughs> Me. Uh, 
You might slip. You used the Liz Lerman's critical response process in the intro. <laughs> and so, when you told me about it last week, I thought we need to be using this in real life. Exactly. It would save a lot of fights. It sure would. Nah, you wouldn't make a fire drama, sir. No, a drama what? <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll save that for the next trip. You keep asking me all these questions. Ain't I supposed to be self-kept Saturday? 